Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a pen test on the new Erin Condren Life Planners, which will be live today when you're seeing this, if you're an EC insider. And then the Life Planners will launch, I believe, on the 29th for the general public. But I wanted to talk about the paper quality and pens, pens you might already have in your stash, things that you love to write with, and a little bit about the paper quality. If you wanna see a little bit more in depth of this plan, duo. I got the daily duo to review a little early. I will link a card uh, up in the corner for you guys, um, but I am going to bust into one of these and we're going to do a little pen test for you guys. I have a ton of pens here and just wanted to, I already kind of, I already kind of started doing things. So I'm going to use yeah, I'm going to use this side of the paper because on the very back of these daily duos, usually there's a bunch of notes pages um, if you have like a regular life planner, not the duo, but this one only has the two pages and the one I would do it on won't show any shadowing because it's got like the Erin Condren information page at the back. So uh, this wouldn't be very helpful. <laughs> So I'm going to show it to you on this page because I don't mind if this page gets a little shadowing. Doesn't bother me at all. So I'm going to use these blue pens, which I actually have a little box of blue and a box of black pens. I think I got these little boxes at Michael's, you know, like at the checkout in Michael's. Um, there's kind of like that little area where it's like a couple bucks or a dollar or whatever for certain things. I think this was only a dollar, um, but I got two of them because I wanted to have a black and blue pen test. I feel like both of them would be redundant because I'm using the same things over and over. And then at the end, I'm going to share with you guys these pens, which I, <laughs> here, I'll show you right now, but I'll do it at the end. Um, this is the box, and I put washi tape in the bottom of it, um, that this pen comes in, which will also be available on launch day, and it had like all this foam in there, and I just ripped out the foam <laughs> because I wanted a place to store these, which these are like little click um, pens or pens and markers that have like the barrels. So anyways, I wanted a place to put them where they wouldn't be like tossed all over the damn place. So this was my solution. Ta-da! So they fit in here, pretty perfect. All right, so there's that. So let's get into the pen test. Dun -da -da -dun. Okay, I'm gonna have to organize this a little bit. So it's like markers and actual pens. That's kind of like a permanent, a permanent a pen, a pen. I don't know, those, those are weird. Permanent, permanent, I think that's permanent. Okay, so I kind of have it organized a little bit, but let's zoom y'all in. And um, yeah, so for my regular pens that I have, clearly a pencil is going to work just fabulously for you, but I wanted to show you guys some different pens. So I'm gonna start out with my favorite actual pen, like a gel pen. Um, and this is the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the 07. I don't know what it is about this color. This is like a navy color, it's not the blue. One of my faves. This is the blue Pilot G2 in the 10, so it's like a thicker point. Um, I like a thicker point, anything like an 05 or less, I just, I'm not into. I like an 07 or larger, that's just my personal preference. And Pilot G2s were my favorite until I found the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gels, and I'm like, okay, I like those ones better. <laughs> this is the Jelly Roll 06, and also in a navy. You can tell these pens have not been used in a while. I like legit just keep them in that little clear container for these. Um, my other ones that I use on a daily, which I do use a lot of these daily, um, are other places. Okay, and this is the Erin Condren Navy. I don't know what the point is on this, and I don't even know if they still have them, but some of you might still have these um, in your arsenal, and I believe they're a gel pen, but let's let's see here. Yeah, that's very, very pointy. Um, not my fave, but um, you know, it's good to test them all. 
And then these are the Pilot Precise Rolling Ball V5, and they're the extra fine. I have a regular blue and then also a navy. So let's um let's try these out. I don't I think these are newer to my collection. I think I had a like gift pack, like a pack of a bunch of these. So I don't know. Let's try it. Yeah, not my favorite. Again, not as not as uh, pointy as the Erin Condren one, but uh, yeah, you know. And I've never, I don't think I've ever written with these before. Yeah, too, too, uh, I don't know, scratchy. It's too, too scratchy for me. Um, and then, okay, we're gonna go with the Erin Condren Sapphire pen. These are the dual tip markers, another occult classic, and some of my favorites. Um, I am a fan of the medium tip, so we'll go into that in just a moment. Here's the fine point side. And then we'll go to the medium, which is my fave. I don't know, just works well for me. Eh, I don't know. I like it, I like it better. And then another favorite is the Paper Mate, and this is the Paper Mate Flare. I don't know, I just love a flare. They're just nice, they're easy, they kind of go with most things, unless you need a permanent marker, which these, most of these work really well on glossy or difficult to write on stickers that have a little bit of a film. So these are kind of my more permanent style ones. So let's get into this. This is the Micron 03. It's the Pigma Micron. I can tell you right now, I absolutely hate writing with these, but I know a lot of people absolutely love them. Again, it's too scratchy for me. Whoops. Man down, hold on. And I know I've gotten comments in these videos before like, why do you keep all these if you hate them? For this, for this, this is why I keep them. <laughs> um, because everyone has something different that they like and then I wanna show you if it shadows or if the shadowing would bother you. Um, and these are all things I've either picked up over the years that I know don't work for me or that have been gifted to me or put in some swag bag and I just keep them because I know someone out there has them and they'd probably be interesting to see how Paper holds up, not just Erin Condren paper, but other paper and stuff too. So, anyway, so let's write this one down. All right, so the Pigma Micron. And then we've got, let's do, oh, there's two of these. I don't need to, I don't need to test two of them. This is the Le Pen. And I actually really like the way that this, like, the stroke of it, like, works really well. But it's still, again, the point is to, too uh -uh for me. Too uh -uh. I don't know how to say it All right. Nice. Uh -uh. And this is the Stabilo. Duvalo. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I don't know how to say anything. Okay. And then we've got this one, which I absolutely love. It's the Marks a Lot Permanent, and these are in the ultra fine tip. Um, I did some research online, and this one you can only get in like a rainbow pack. They don't have these yet, and I hope they do at some point. So Avery, if you're watching which I know they're not, you need to make packs with just black and you need to pick, make packs with just blue, trust me, um, because I would buy them. <laughs> but right now you can only get them in a rainbow pack. So these are the Avery Marks a lot. Oh, so good, so good y'all. And it almost rivals this bad boy, which is my favorite fave, which is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Type Marker. Um, I'm just gonna put Pilot Ultra Fine because you don't need the rest of it. Oh, my favorite. That's my favorite one to write with for sure. Um, this one's actually pretty good as well. This is the Sharpie Permanent Marker in the Ultra Fine Point. And this is actually navy. Um, I actually had to buy from a seller on Amazon like a box of these. And my God, they're, they're so good. They're not like this... Um, like the Le Pen or the Avery, like that's a very royal blue where this is like a navy, which I very much prefer. Like you can see the difference. And then this is just a regular Sharpie marker, just a Sharpie fine point, like the ones you get like big boxes of at the office supply store. Um, I'm just gonna write Sharpie. Yeah, and see the color between the two? Much prefer the navy. Faux show. Sure. Okay, so that's that. Let's look at the other side and let me do this. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit so you can see the shadowing because I know that's a big deal. P.S. 
turning 40 on January 9th, in case you wanna, you know, send me some love, but I know it's a long ways away. But anyways, um, but yeah, you really can't see too much shadowing too bad. Nothing would really bother me until these ones, like the Avery marks a lot and down. So like the Avery marks a lot, hold on, let's go like this. Like the Avery marks a lot, the pirate, pirate? The pilot ultra fine point, the Sharpie ultra fine, and then our Sharpie Sharpie. Um, those would really bother me, but to be honest, I personally write a lot with stickers like i put a sticker down and then i write with it so really i don't have a lot of this but if you are um concerned about shadowing i wouldn't do a permanent marker on this type of paper and this is um i think i said this already but it's an 80 pound mohawk paper and they've been using the same paper in their planners for is this their third or fourth year i think it's their third year um doing this paper and it's not um glassy feeling you know how some paper is really glassy feeling it does have a little bit of a grip to it which i think is great for people that want to use stickers or whatever um it just it doesn't fly out of your hands which i think is nice um but i, I really like the quality and it's very um i don't know it's thick but it's not too thick it's not like cardstock thick but it's it's good but it's like an 80 pound paper anyway so yeah, here we go. Oh, let's zoom back out because this is weird. Here we go. Whoa, here we are. And then why don't we use some of these? Er, because I haven't, to be honest, I haven't used any of these yet. Um, so let's, let's check them out. There's some highlighters, which I want to put, I want to put all the like ones together because you know, neuroses and whatnot. All right, so with the highlighters, I'm just gonna write highlighter right here because that seems like the easiest. And then this is like a ballpoint pen, just like a regular pen, like a little twisty pen from Erin Condren. And you get this and the box, but in the box you get that um, foam thing I was talking about that I ripped out because I don't like it. So yeah. You can tell I have never written with this because it's skipping. <laughs> I should probably get the ball rolling on it quick, you know, like, ah, oh, yeah. Kind of have to do that to warm up the pen sometimes. Um, here, let's try this one. Oh, Jesus. Well, what the heck? Maybe it's just my pen. I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm having a failure. Okay, and there's, like, nothing behind it. That's so weird. Okay, <laughs> this is such a fail, you guys. Okay, let me try it down here. I just, I don't know. Okay, what is going on? Okay, it's working fine on like this paper, but not on the Erin Condren paper. I'm so confused. Okay, now it's not even like, what the, what the heck? Why is it working on here, but not, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, well, this is a fail. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but whatever. Let me just show you the highlighter. <laughs> All I wanted to do was just to like, go like this and go, oh, look at the highlighter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, anyways, okay. Uh, these are just the highlighter colors. <laughs> Yikes. You know, sometimes it's probably user error because I am kind of the worst when it comes to certain things. Um, but anyway, I didn't use the little doodad over here, but that's okay. All right, so the fine tips. There's three fine tips, and then the rest are the medium tips. So let's do the medium tips. These feel exactly the same as the dual tip medium for sure. Yeah, I really, I like the medium. Like I said before, I love the medium. I'm, a, I'm not a fine tip girl at all. I like a medium. The highlighters actually felt really nice as well. So yeah, let's do some more medium. 
Yeah, that one. That one's my jam. Yeah, I'm not sure of the colors. The colors will be listed on the website um, when everything is live for you guys. I just don't have the information right in front of me because, you know, I just don't. Oh, I like this color. This kind of, I don't know, like sorbet kind of a color. Okay, so that is that. And then they all come with this like barrel and there's two barrels in the box that will be um, available on launch day. So there is that. And then we have the fine tips. So we'll put, eh, again, not a fine tip girl. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, they write nice. It's just, you know, not my preference. And I have three fine tips. So we'll get this blue one down. Ta-da! All right. So anyway, that's the pen test. Let's look at the back side of this so you guys can see. Hold on, let's zoom y'all in just a little bit here. Okay, okay. Let's go beyond where it says Sharpie. These are gonna be, you know, where every, where all the colorful ones are. And I don't really see too much in the shadowing, to be honest. I mean, when you lift it up, you can see it just slightly. But if you have a piece of paper behind it, you really don't, you really don't see it. Um, I see the most shadowing right here, which is when I tried to use this thing, and I was like going ear ear ear, like I couldn't couldn't stop because the pen wouldn't go for me. So anyway, but that's what it looks all like close up. Um, I really like the highlighters and I like the mediums a lot. The fines, not my jam, but I feel like if you like a fine tip, you're gonna like those markers and then with the versatility of the barrel kind of nice to just swap these in and out once in a while all right so that's going to be the pen test for the new planners which are the 2021 through 2022 Erin condren life planners i will have a link down below for you guys if you are interested in any of the life planner products as well as anything from the Erin condren website which includes these bad boys right here the pen that was in this box and all that good stuff including these whoops pens right here um like i said life planner launch for insiders is today the day that you are seeing this and a few days later is for the general public so feel free to check those out if you're interested in a life planner i know i'll be doing a little shopping that day as well even though i already got my planners but you know what there's always other things i want you know what i mean so anyway that's going to be it for me today thank you guys for hanging out and watching this feel free to share this video if you have anybody out there that you know of that is interested in a life planner and wondering about paper quality this video would probably be really helpful to them so feel free to share it with your friends make sure to thumbs up subscribe do all those things those youtubers tell you to do and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye guys well folks it's time to kick it old school uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.